Hey folks. So when I was a kid, like lots of other kids, I wanted to be a magician. Now, lots of other people's hopes and dreams have matured since then, wanting to be rock stars or eventually grow or eventually changing and wanting to be engineers, doctors, lawyers. But the part of me that wanted to be a magician never really died. So I've always had a fascination with little magical props and, like, impossible objects and things. Like, those ships in bottles. They're, like, ships of the line that seem too big to get through the neck. Or just decks of cards that have been wedged into bottles that seem just a wee bit too small to contain them. And I was watching a great video from this great YouTube channel. It's, like, a British band walking through his collection of toys and little gadgets from around the world. And he and he talked about some of some impossible bottle objects that he came across in his day. And I'll link it up there if I can find it. And he and as he was talking about and how he was talking about one was made using just some simple pencils, I rem I realized how you can make those little impossible bottle things. So, I made one myself. This is a deck of cards and a water bottle. I'm going to show you how I made it. As you can see, I have an old deck of playing cards here. The box is pretty beat up. A water bottle and two pairs of tweezers. It took me a little while to figure out how to do this. I've always loved these puzzles, but for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how they worked. Until I was watching a video recently about them with a lovely British man at what appears to be a toy museum. And he discussed, like, this one particularly notable practitioner of the arts. And when he mentioned that one set was only constructed using pencils for tools, I realized pretty immediately what he meant. You see... What, what the man does, or at least what I assume he does, is he folds up things like the card deck or like cards, inserts them into a bottle, typically glass, I'll be using a plastic one because I had it on hand, and then reshaping them inside the bottle so that they look relatively normal. That's my hypothesis, and I'm going to try it for myself today. The card, just doing individual cards is not challenging at all. As you can see, I can insert it into the bottle neck pretty easily. And it's pretty easy to fold it straight, just with like a single tweezer and like another anchoring point. But it'd be a little too easy to just, to just curl up all the cards and just put them in. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something with the deck of cards itself, with the card box. I'm going to slit the card box open along the bottom, and while I'm not certain this is what he does, I'm not sure the dimensions of the bottle he uses, I'm just doing this because this deck card box does not fold flat, and it's all together. Just, again, the folding is important. The folding is key here in order to get it into the neck. I'm just going to... There we go. As you can see, I have cut where I have previously taped up some old busted flaps in the card box. So now I can fold flat and we can curl it into a shape that will fit inside the bottle. This is the world's lamest craft tutorial I know, but what can I say? I'm, I'm always trying to do something new. Okay, we're just going to carefully shove this thing into the bottle. Alright, and Top it goes on the inside. I'm not sure if the altogether effects are more interesting in a plastic bottle like this or a glass bottle. 
what I'm going to have to do for the plastic bottle is I'm going to have to sort of like bend the bottle itself a little bit, squash it flat so the card box can fit properly. And I'm not sure how well it's going to work out. But I think it'd be a greater effect if the bottle is clearly stretching to contain the cards than a just a glass bottle where they just sit kind of loosely. This is very difficult. I probably should have just started with cards. Yeah, trying to get the card box in itself seems like a bit of a pipe dream now. Trying to manipulate anything inside the bottle is quite a daunting challenge. Yep, that's what I thought this would tear off. I'm going to spend some time just trying to unfold it inside the bottle again, and if that fails, I'll just extract it to the best of my ability and just put cards in normally, and I'll show you the end result. Hey folks, just updating to let you know. I got the card box unfolded inside the bottle. It was very difficult. I used these two pencils to sort of worm into it so I could fl so I can unflatten it from the inside. It wasn't terribly entertaining. And I don't want to do it again. And I also had to squeeze the bottle a few places so I could like pin the card box right. Man, I thought just like no after you know the trick it would be easy, but I have to have I have nothing but respect for the men who like for the men and women. Specifically the men who like put the card decks in the glass balls, but for all the people who do stuff like this, because it is quite quite a noble quite a noble challenge. But now that I've done that, I can start putting the cards in. We're gonna start with the Joker, customary. <laughs> A shot right in. And let's see now. We're just gonna. A. This is going in easy. Ace of Hearts. I'm sure this is the sort of thing that gets harder later in the process. For right now, it is smooth sailing, and it is absolutely delightful. Hmm. Got a brief little jam. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to jam the cards in, but so far we're making a pretty good pace, I think. And even if I can't fit all the cards in, I still think I'm fitting in enough to say that this was a pretty successful craft, all things considered. Yeah, 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 yeah. look at that. This is going quite well, might I say. There we go, and now I got the check lined up with all the other ones. And we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Da, 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 da. You know, how about I stop recording? Because you already understand the process, basically. I'll stop recording and come back when I'm done putting cards in. It's time for me to just like unfold everything a little bit, just to make everything look a little bit nicer. So, I got it done. I managed to get the cards in the bottle. You might be wondering, James, how does it look? I'd say it looks pretty good. 
I I really like this. This was a fun craft. It was surprisingly easy to do, even with the frustration of like unfolding the box inside the bottle. And it, the cards getting a little bit harder to push in and position as more and more cards were added. This still took me an hour or less. It was very simple to do, very quick, and frankly, kind of fun, honestly. And you just have like this great, like, tchotchke prop, like, conversation piece that you can just, like, have on a desk or something. Just like, how did that get in there? Who knows? And it's just like, I, I had a great time with this, and it's like one of those effects, like in Magic, people talk about like the effect a trick has. It's definitely one of those things where it's like pretty low effort, great effect. And I look, and frankly, I look forward to keeping this and maybe doing another one in the future. I recommend trying this out. It's pretty great. And check out the video that I'm going to like link about these impossible bottles, because some of them are truly miraculous, even when you know how they're done. They just look so clean and so nice, unlike this one where you can still see crease lines on the card deck. You can sort of see there's folds in the cards. But still, I like this a lot. And I look forward to maybe doing some more in the future. But I'll see where the I'll see how that turns out when I get there. Have a good day.